Okay, hold on. Okay. Why isn't this in a box? I lost some weight. <laughs> so bright and beautiful I love it I've got such a mess here in the entryway console table because I unboxed things let me just show you so I unboxed things the other day and when I pick out what I want to keep I put them here actually when I, I put everything here actually anyway because I don't have a table right here in the front to just put stuff that I unbox so everything is here and it just looks crazy. Okay. Praise the Lord. I gotta put all this super new stuff away. I have these humongous bags that I bought from Amazon. I'll link them below. They're perfect for recycling because they're clear. And when you recycle, you need to use a clear box. I don't use the recycling bin. Do we even have a recycling bin? That might be the one that we have in the garage that we're using for storage. <laughs> when it came clean, we put stuff in it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I have I have the recycling a I have the recycling bags and they're humongous i think they're 90 gallon so they're perfect i realized that not only do i like for candles to be lit in my home because i like for my home to always smell good but i also just like the look of a candle burning so i decided so that i don't have six candles burning at the same time with six different scents mixing together why not purchase the everlasting candles that i've seen so i purchased three or did I get four? Three of the everlasting candles. So I'm opening that right now and I'll put those around. Yeah, I'll put those around. I'm thinking out loud. <sighs> one of the glasses is broken. Oh, this one is broken. The Wiley Vase Clear. Wow, these are smaller than I expected. Mad small. Okay, so I've got three of the pristine, odorless, smokeless, clean oils. You put this in it. And it's odorless, smokeless, whatever. Oh, I got four. What? Okay. Uh, four. One of them spilled. Dang. What kind of... This is expensive. How did they package this? They didn't do a good job. What is this? Is this a small business? It's from Canada. That's annoying. This indoor oil pairs exclusively with the Everlasting Candles. Okay. Well, we have two of them. I'm going to contact them about the one that's broken. And then we have the... Okay, good. The wick, whatever you call this stuff. Now, if you're like me, you've seen this on some sort of Instagram ad. And I was just like, oh, okay. But again, I had to realize why am I constantly buying candles? I really do like both the scent and the look of it. So mixing these in will allow me to prolong the candles that I have because I won't have to use so many all the time. Alrighty. So the one that broke was one of these. Look how tiny it is. Jeez. Okay. And I got a circle. So I don't know where I'm going to put what. Okay. There were no instructions. Maybe it's just a simple thing. Do I need a, you know, a spout thing to pour this in? Is it going to make a mess everywhere? I got old. I got two of the gold candlesticks what do you call these there's no name what are they called they're just the sticks right okay and then this is the black one all right so what am i i don't even know what i wanted what did i want to do when i like the one in the kitchen it's just so strong to have the kitchen and the one at the tv burning at the same time so i'm going to put this there so that i don't have two cents so close together okay and i'm going to open this one because it was already open and it spilled oh yeah it literally was open it wasn't even closed well like what 
oh no, they're all the same. So these are not very secure. What is this? And this stuff is expensive. Yeah, it is odorless. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in here so I don't have any spill. And am I supposed to fill it up? It don't come in no brochure, honey. It don't come in nothing. This stuff is expensive to be so foolish. I think I'm supposed to soak it. I feel like I read that on the page. I feel like I read that somewhere that it does need to soak for some time. We'll see. All right, there's that one. And then the circle. Ooh, messy. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Oh my God. Oh, I should have used that thing I was talking about. You know, when you're, oh my God. Oh, it's slipping. Ah. <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus. I should a funnel. That's what I mean. I should have used a funnel. Do I even have a funnel? Girl, I ain't got no funnel. What is this? This is nonsensical. God of mercy. What is this about? I'm not happy with this right now. Okay. Again, for the price I would expect it, it would come with more of a kit and a brochure. God. Brochure. Table of contents. Whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Something. Okay, oh, this one opened as well, because you see the remnants, the evidence that it was, that it spilled over. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a mess. And I want to say that this oil never goes down. Girl, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I really don't know. All right, I know in the pictures, in the videos, it's not all the way full, so. That's what I've done there. Hope my hands are not gonna now be flammable, but I'll be sure to wash them because what the heck. Gold goes in here. I've got two gold sticks. Okay, I decided to put the circle one here in the bathroom. The, but now, I could have done black sticks, but that's okay. No, let's stick with this. I put this one in the bathroom because you know, you do wanna have a contrast in the shapes. So we have a rectangular base, another rectangular base, and then a circle candle, whatever. So this does work. And I don't want to put this just on here. It just feels better for it to be on top of something. So there's that. It does feel a lot more complex than it actually is. It just says to let the candles, let the sticks soak for 30 minutes before first lighting it. And that's it. What I like is that this is not going to be no soot on the walls type situation. So that's good. So that's going to be here and that'll be great because I blow through the candles in my bathroom a lot because I'm always lighting them. So this will be really nice. Cubbies, baby. I'm excited. Now let me go contact them about my other one because the other one, I don't know. got my order in from instacart yo i stay getting stuff from sephora as needed because it just be like that and they co it comes so quickly it comes so quickly so i ordered oh my god oh okay i ordered this as a gift from my friend because it's her birthday and i just felt like they were going to give it to me in a box and make it look nice because what the heck this looks like it was just sitting on the Okay, I'm gonna say this better be full. It looks like it was just sitting on the counter and they just gave it to her. I mean, I know it's not her fault. Why isn't this in a box? Are you kidding? This is a- Why does it look like there's a stain on it? Yo, I can't believe it looks like that. Cause I have one in my bathroom. So this is not for me. It's a gift for a friend. Why does it look like it was just grabbed off the shelf like as a tester? What in the world? I'm thinking it was gonna come. Okay, so this is the gift wrapping. This, when did I get this? When did I buy this? I don't remember. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I was hoping that it would come. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, this is what I'm gonna do. This is the, the gift wrapped one is for me. I'm gonna take mine out and then put hers in here. Yeah, 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 because I mean, although the back says velvet rose and oud, it doesn't matter. She ain't, gonna, she ain't gonna care about that. Because this looks very much like you just got it off the, the, the corner of the road. Like what? No, okay, let me do this now. Because I need it to look nice for my friend. It's a gift for God's sake. Okay, good. So I'm taking mine out. 
This is a brand new Velvet Rose and Oud, one of my faves from Jo Malone. And I'll put hers in here and then cover it. I'm glad I kept this box. Okay, good. So this is a gift for her. This fragrance is so good. Peony and Blush Suede. Mad good. She's going to love it. And I'll put this in the box, in the bag. What in the world? I am glad I kept this. And this is scrunchy. What? Elastic, excuse me. Scrunchy. Girl, the ghetto. This is elastic, you know? So it's easy to put on. Good. I'm thinking it would come at least in a box. But apparently these don't come in boxes. I did not know that. All right. Well, praise God for Instacart because they be coming through in a clutch. You feel mm -hmm. me? They really do be coming through in a clutch. I bought this wrapping paper and these bags from Amazon. I'll link it. That's a hat. I plan on trying to wear a hat this, this fall. Okay, so there's already one gift in there. And this is the other one. Because we're celebrating two things. So this is the other one. It's going to go on the side. She going to throw up. <laughs> she going to throw it all up, baby. I love nice things. So as much as I can, I want to treat others. Not everybody, <laughs> but others the nice things too. Okay, and I'm going to go put my Velvet Rose and Oud down. The one I have been using is right here. It's almost done, but not quite. I have really, look at that. It is really done. This is one of my most popular fragrances whenever I have someone over that I end up giving a sample of giving us yeah giving them a sample of because it is so freaking good so it's not just me who's used it down to that level it's because i'd be giving it away honey and then this one is brand you can't tell but it's brands making new i don't know where to put it i am running out of space for my fragrances i really am i don't even know what else to do i need to find shorter like a shorter whatchamacallit to put here because this just looks a mess anyway i'll put that here for now because i don't have time so yeah i got the fragrance and then i also got the Huda Beauty, I'm about to put a wig on, the Huda Beauty Filter Luminous Matte. They did send me three shades, but they were all wrong. Every last one of the shades were wrong. I hope that this is dark. I want to use it to contour. Oh my God. This looks like a foundation. Online, this shade looked so deep. And now this is a shade chocolate chip. And this is not looking it's okay my only concern is that you know when i put on my foundation my foundation is pretty dark i don't know if this is gonna show okay well here we are that's okay i do also need to go in store and look at the shades to find one to actually highlight my skin because i've already seen peanut butter or is it peanut brittle something like that it didn't work there were a few that just didn't work so i need to see them in person because it just be looking like this looks like I'm giving my foundation shade, literally, depending on the shade of foundation that I choose. Look at how crazy this looks right here. But I'm listening to the Nicole Walters podcast. She is just so funny and bubbly and wild. <laughs> and she's really successful. So let me turn her you down. You got a job. You know, is he going to show up? Is he nice? Is he hot? Like yeah, things like, do you want to be with someone who amplifies that? Or at least in moments when you're, you're operating alone, supports you, you know, and helps like nurture you and nourish you, you know? So I am so annoyed at myself right now. So first of all, I <laughs> spent all this time trying to get this wig ready that I was going to I thought I wanted to put on, but the fact is it's got highlights in it and it's beautiful, but similar to my clothing when I'm filming, I keep it neutral these days because I don't want it to clash with the makeup look that I'm doing. It helps with stuff to be green, to last longer online when it's not so, oh, I should get my tripod. When it's not so personalized to being specifically for a holiday or something like that. What I'm trying to say is I keep my clothing neutral and a lot of times my makeup neutral when I'm doing general type videos not a makeup tutorial type video <laughs> okay all that to say i'm starting with my recording late today and i'm annoyed because oh, i really need to spend my evenings preparing the stuff so that when i'm ready to go i can just go i've done so much walking around to get all the things that i need so i just now went and got i almost said to a literal paper towel and my tripod to put you all on and it's just like oh all this stuff and then i gotta wash my sponge I could use a new one, but either way, I'm going to need to wet the sponge. So I'm just saying that if I had set up earlier, it would have made my life easier for the past 
how, God knows how many minutes. That's number one. And then I ran out of paper towel, so I had to get another paper towel to cut up because you know I keep pieces of paper towel next to me every single time I do my makeup because just from my training at MAC, you put down a Kleenex. We used to use Kleenex all the time. Well, I use paper towels at home. I don't have Kleenex, and then I cut them so that they not only last longer, but I need them to be in smaller pieces, not this large piece. So I'll use a large piece for to put down on the area in front of me, but then I do cut it in half to use when perhaps I'm cleaning my hand off or wiping the brush on. You know, I've, I've told you why I do that. When I go from the actual application of the product to now the blending of the product, then I clean it off so that it's not full of so much product. <laughs> I just said product so many times. Hello, praise the Lord, here we are. So I was doing something on the camera and now I'm gonna change it from vertical to horizontal. I think of horizon, horizontal. Lower this down. Tripod and camera will be linked below because they're just so great. Lower this down to my desired level, let's see. I can either angle the camera down or I can keep it head on. And I do either or. Today, I feel like going head on, so that's why I lowered the camera instead of angling it. And then I wanna make sure that the top line of the camera matches with the line on my ceiling so that it's leveled, hello? All right. But now it's looking a little, and the camera does have an auto level, but I can't lie. If I look at my, this is just how I am. If I look at the camera and I see this wobbly, even though it's auto leveled on the camera, I will be annoyed. I, ha I have to fix it. I can't do that. <laughs> can't do my body. Okay. So here we go. I have on my hair. Let me make sure I have the shot the way I want it to be. Let's see. Let's see. I do want to you to see the candle in the back a little bit. I I feel like I should remove that pompous. Should I move the pompous? Because of where it is? I mean, <laughs> Woo! all the things, girl, all the tins. Like, why? Why are we even, why is this even a thing right now? You know, I just want to know how I want to get my shot. Okay, and then I'm going to lower or raise the ISO to lighten up the shot a little more. But when I lighten up the shot, I look very light and that's not natural. It looks good, but I look too, you're not really able to see this well, but you will understand what I'm saying too if you care, if you're a content creator. I'm lightening up the ISO, I look too light, I wanna look more natural. And it does to me sometimes look dark here on the screen, but then when I'm editing the video, I'm like, oh good, I should, I, good thing I kept the ISO low. Or I'll be like, dang, I should have lowered it down. And then I'll fix it in post. But I think that this looks good, whatever. And my hair is dark, so it's making it just look darker overall. But this is good. Once I edit it, I know I'll be happy that I kept the ISO lower or higher, whatever. Kept it where it's at, girl, I got time. Okay, now, very soon, I need to order lunch because I'm hungry. This is the thing, I be getting so, I'm just too busy to go be trying to whip up, whip up what? Mm -mm, whipping up nothing. So I'm trying to think if I should, Again, I should have given this more thought, but it's just been a crazy few days. Alrighty, I am going to at some point do a combination review for the Fenty Pro Filter Primer and Foundation. Review, wear test is what I mean, not review. But today, it looks like I'm going to do the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Stays All Day and Night Foundation. I guess I'm gonna do that. Yeah, and then use this Huda Beauty Wild tiger eyeshadow palette that I have never ever used and some other stuff. All right, let's do this. It's all I know. It's all. Starbucks and then I have to go to BMW to get service on my car my oil light came on and when I think about it I haven't been there in a very long time so it is time and I don't know how long I have from when the light comes on to when it's dangerous for my engine so I'm just gonna go today 
and I know they take hours to do it so they'll have a car take me home and I will work and then go back and go from there so I'm going to Starbucks right now to get a beverage because I didn't have time to make it at home I had to shoot a piece of a campaign today before I left home hence the wig because <laughs> normally the wig don't be on this early in the morning okay praise the lord <laughs> yo 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 I am all right all rest all dressed and ready to go to dinner with Marie. It's her birthday. I'm so glad that this Zara blazer finally fit me after I lost some weight. <laughs> I need to get more. So I wanted to do a girl's night get ready with me, but I didn't have the energy or the time, so I didn't do that. But we're gonna take the camera with us to dinner tonight. I feel really good, really expansive. I'm wearing Le Labo, another 13. This fragrance is fu- Ooh. Did I blend my oil on my chest? Uh oh, <laughs> let me blend this a little better. I put a fragrance oil. No, actually, no, I just, I did put a fragrance oil, but I just sprayed a fragrance there and it was just looking wet. Lay Labo, another 13 is phenomenal. A very, very strong scent. Anywho, I'm gonna change this battery. Yo, let me tell you something. So already my car ran smooth, it really did. But there's a big difference now that I got three new tires three of my tires were trash so i got three new tires and it is so much smoother now it is insane it feels like a brand new car it already felt like a brand new car but now it really feels like a brand new car it's out of this world new tires do make a huge difference and yo did i tell you that i i went in there for an oil change turns out the guy's like you're not actually due for an oil change we'll just top off the oil but you are due for a brake flush and we and you need three new tires i was like excuse me granted you could say that i was getting played but i did notice my tires needed to be changed i just noticed it and forgot about it so uh, i just said let's just do it now because i don't have time to be having my car at this place because they inconvenienced me so much that day i was late to get me from school it was too much so i don't have time to be doing coming back and forth nope if i'm here now let's just do it now and it's an expensive car, so I don't want to just go to some Joe Schmo down the street. I just I just don't want to do that. I want to do it right. So I said, just, girl, $2,000, okay? I went in there for an oil change and walked out $2,000 later. Cannot believe it. But the car feels really, really good. It, there's a clear difference with the way it drives. And also with the brake flush, I'm sure that did something for the I, The car just feels brand new. It feels brand new. So I'm glad I got it done. I'm on my way to get to go get Marie right now. I wanted to do my nails over because they're peeling. It's a matte nail polish and you can tell there's a matte thing on top to make it matte. Well, that is coming off. So it's looking ridiculous. And I didn't have time and I was tired earlier. I was trying to rest, all these things. So I didn't have time to do my nails, but I would have preferred to have on my French tip press set, press on French tip set, you know, my favorite usual staple. I would have loved to have that one on right now, but we move and here we are. I'm just not going to show my fingernails too much. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. This is not the nail I wanted. Not for this look, not for my life, you know, like I just didn't want it in general. I hate my nails right now. But I didn't have time. The thing about Marie, though, she freaking kills me. She better freaking be ready. Because I'm not going to go freaking sit there and sit. Because I could have been at home doing my nails. And I contemplated doing my nails in the car. But I cannot stand that. It's like doing makeup in the car. I cannot. You might as well just run me with the, with the Mack truck. I can't. I just refuse. So I just said, you know, if I cannot do my nails in the comfort of my home, I'm not going to do them at all. It'll just be what it is. But she better freaking be ready. Because I'm not freaking doing this. I could have been at home fixing my nails. <laughs> I just really hate when people are so generous that they want to help us take pictures 
and then they do it all wrong. It makes me so angry. And I have to and pretend so like it was so work. great. They're so proud. They're always so proud. They're like, what do you think? Do you like it? And I'm like, it looks really amazing. <laughs> it looks so terrible. Oh my gosh. Not your phone all foggy. Yeah. Really, really, really well. <laughs> Thank you. You're hang welcome. Hang on, let me give you something. not me one of those name signs or whatever oh my gosh i've always wanted one of these this is so crazy <laughs> i got it on etsy and i just have my contractor set it up so of course it's plugged in and you got off and you got on and then you got lowering the intensity and then you got increasing the intensity you got jump 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 <laughs> like jump rope you got eesh, fade this one we call it fade is too much it's giving techno it's giving club house music jesus okay wait this one is giving techno club house music <laughs> this one is giving i don't know south african i'm a piano i'm not sure oh man and th this one this is not gonna work this is not gonna work i'm gonna just hey these are just falling down i'm gonna just keep it you know what i'm saying you have the timer and stuff this is on etsy honey go ahead and etsy it okay yeah you have the timer or where we at i just want steady where's the steady is the steadiness hey god let me just hey jesus okay wait okay hold on okay and then we just hey god oh no wait 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 wait, wait. why is it doing that okay i just want you to stop okay so should I just go to 100? Okay, I just pressed 100. <laughs> Whatever that means. It looks crooked from here, but it's definitely... <laughs> it's we're, we're at an angle, so what can you expect? But how cute is that? It's my first ever... What you call it? What do you call this? Whatever. I love it. I'm excited. <laughs> the patio because it is devastatingly dirty this is one of the annoying things about having patio furniture and just trying to maintain it I don't understand do you have any of these print furniture or do you maintain it if so what do you do I'm just so annoyed like I'll be wanting to come out here but then when it's dirty I just don't and then the dirt accumulates it's annoying but I took up the rug that was here if you've been here for a while you know I had a rug from Amazon I took it up it's one of those washable affordable type rugs and uh, I just swept and now I'm going to spray and then hose the area down. I have this all-purpose something, something, something spray and I mixed it with water. I put it into this just because this is what I have. And then I'm going to spray the furniture, the walls and everything, and then rinse it down. So let's do that. <laughs> 